If you already have a thousand dollar workstation set up for video editing, your phone and a dongle are not going to replace that. But you probably knew that. Hey, my name is Mitchell. I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be. This video is part of my series of using Samsung DeX for the creative professional, where I dive into the world of Samsung DeX, some of the creative applications for photo, video editing, and productivity use, and give you guys thoughts, feedback, and essentially how you can replace your desktop computer with your phone and a dongle. To start, I've been using Adobe Premiere Pro on desktop for over five years. I've used Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro Rush on desktop a little bit, and I've used Premiere Rush on mobile uh, for about a year, year and a half to edit TikToks and like short YouTube videos. So I'm pretty familiar with all of the different aspects of Premiere Rush and using it on DeX for the first time, it felt exactly like using Premiere Rush on desktop. They just kind of copied over the complete UI and UX from the desktop version to mobile or mobile version to desktop. It's kind of like the chicken or the egg, not sure which one comes first. Now in regards to performance, being that I shot all of this video at 4K H.265 30 frames a second, uh, I was expecting much worse performance. Now performance on mobile wasn't the smoothest or the most seamless by far. And I think a big part of that has to do with the six gigabytes of RAM because it's holding the application open in RAM when you're using it. And the more and more stuff I added to my timeline, the buggier and kind of laggier it got. And after four or five clips, I started to run into some bigger issues on the timeline. But, and this is a, a big but, but, I was really, really surprised that for the things I was trying to do, which was speed ramping, adding some effects, uh, recomposing stuff, it, it did it okay. Uh, and I could edit a YouTube video like this, where it's me speaking in B-roll overlaid with complete ease. In fact, if I shot it 1080p, H.264, it would probably be even better performance. And if you have a device with more than six gigabytes of RAM, I would also guess that your performance would be significantly better. Now, is this going to replace anyone's desktop video editing setup? Unless it's for home movies, no. Uh, but, and this is the big but, if you're not a professional video editor, or if you're someone that's looking to make videos for family memories and put stuff together for vacation videos. I think this is perfect. In fact, if I was gonna be doing a road trip around America and I either had to get a new video editing laptop, spend a couple thousand dollars on that, or Samsung DeX and like a Next Dock for like some simpler stuff, uh, no question I'd be happy with Nex and or a next dock and my phone. Um, now I did some photo editing and I'm gonna save that video for a little bit later. If you guys wanna see that photo editing one where I edit photos off of my DSLR, let me know. But that experience was very good and it was a lot better than video editing, but that's kind of something that we were all expecting because video editing is oftentimes much more taxing and more difficult on your system resources compared to photo editing. Is a Samsung DeX setup going to replace my Mac mini? No. Is a DeX setup the ideal setup for someone that wants to just start doing YouTube and doesn't want to invest a bunch of money into YouTube? Yes. An external microphone like the one I talked about up here, a couple accessories, a monitor or even your TV and you're rocking and rolling, editing video, splicing stuff together, doing voiceovers, finding stock music and a ton of stuff. And 
I would tell you, no doubt, go ahead, invest a little bit of money to utilize DeX or whatever desktop mode you might have in your phone before you go out and buy a new camera and computer for editing YouTube videos because this and a few accessories is way ahead what I could do when I started learning to edit video. On top of that, after you decide that you really like it and you want to move to a desktop setup, if you get Adobe Premiere Rush on desktop, UI UX is going to be identical. And then to transfer into Adobe Premiere Pro, if you want to take YouTube to the next level is a relatively easy thing compared to what I did, which was PowerDirector. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.